it's another very beautiful opportunity, beautiful moment right here in Lagos. And uh, we thank God for the hour they've been waiting for before the February 23rd election of President Muhammad Buhari. We spoke to few seers in Nigeria, prophets and uh, seers around the country who gave us the prediction about the election against and for President Muhammad Buhari and Mr. Atiku Abubakar. One of the prophets that we spoke to is Prophet Samson Omodili. He is a prophet shepherd, very gifted with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And to the glory of God, according to what he told us during the encounter, he said the Holy Spirit told him that President Muhammad Buhari will return as the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Just like the great man of God, Prophet M.K. Tibeto, who first told us, Prophet Omodili too, who is an apostolic person, also gave his own revelation that the Holy Spirit told him. Today now we are back to recount and to ask him more questions about how the country is going to move forward and some other spiritual information that can better our life. We are with him today and we hope you are going to enjoy the brief discussion with the prophet. Sir, good day to you, sir. We thank you for this very wonderful moment. Uh, we've been trying to reach out to you, I mean, uh, since the announcement, uh, that was that particular Wednesday, that President Buhari is the winner of the election. Uh, but uh, we learned that you are on the mountain, you've been praying and all that. So, with the victory of President Muhammad Buhari, sir, as one of the seers who gave the verdict that is going to win the election. How do you feel, sir? And uh, what do you think God has for us as a package with the coming in of President Mahmoud Buhari? Well, <coughs> praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. When the Lord told me about last year, which is about nine months ago, when I come to Asabi Africa TV, okay, the Lord spoke to me. I should tell the whole world Buhari is going to, is going to, is going to succeed about the election of coming one again yeah. and people have been saying to me that who is your God and I told them the God that sent me is a God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob mm. I said this man is going to is they were going to accept this man in second time again mm. and I spoke to the old world and the old world revisit it they rejected it and God glorified himself mm. I just want to bless the name of the Lord because God glorified his name and there is the one that spoken to me. Yes. I am just a servant, mm. a mere servant. Who am I? Mm. Who am I in the presence of the Lord? Yeah. Who am I in the hand of the Lord? Mm. But God showed me grace. He gave me grace to hear his voice. Mm. Like he called Moses. He yeah. said, Moses, I have called you to go and deliver my people. Because every family, every country, they must have a prophet. A prophet. Yes, every country they must have what a prophet. And God called me. He said, "I am just. I am calling you for the end time prophet. Mm. I am calling you for end time what end time Pro prophet. Prophecy. End time prophecy. Okay. He said, I should tell the nation that Muhammad Buhari is going to enter the second chance, mm. the second time again. And the God did it. Mm. Who did it? In Jesus. Jesus. Mm. It is not me. Mm. I'm just a mere servant." But what God have for what God have his mind mm. for country of Nigeria? Yeah. God spoke to me. He said, Tell my people to fear me and to keep my commandment. In this country. Yes. yes. Mm. Are we not fearing him enough? You can see that the whole churches around the country, mega churches, every Sunday there's always a crowd filled church. When you go from one kilometer to another, you see a church. If I in this your street alone on the stretch you have like 13 14 15 church i mean most of the shops are now church so are we not close to god enough i mean we have winners chapel we have redeemed we have lost choosing i mean we have even synagogue we have all sort of churches assorted churches everywhere this country around the world is supposed to be one of the most uh, christian congregated country so why are you saying that we should fear god and see worshiping when there's a crowd of worshipers Already around. The word of God says, okay. if they can come together as one, if the whole world, the whole church, mm. they can come together as one, are you there with me? Mm. If they can turn back to me 
I do it and desire me. He said, I am going to desire them. Desire them? Yes. Because they don't desire God again. That is why the promise of the Lord does not come to pass again. Hmm. Not that the promise of the Lord cannot come to pass. Hmm. It's because the church of God, there is no fear in the house of God again. No fear in the house of God again. Yes, there is no fear of God again. Hmm. What is happening in the house of the Lord? I said it earlier before now. Hmm. I say what has entered the church. Church has entered the world. So the world is now in the church. Yes. And the church has mixed with the world. That is what is happening. You are, you are not saying that everybody should come together. Are you mean? Do you mean that winners should join Redeem? Redeem should join Celestia. Kerubu should join Redeem. Lost choosing everybody should join the other one roof and they should not be past all me. You know. Uh, I'm talking about their shepherd. Okay, if their yeah. shepherd okay. can come together, okay. can reason together, the whole church they will come together as one. He is the leader of the church. They are the one. They are the one destroying the church. Oh, the they don't want. They don't want anybody to cancel them. Hmm. And the leader of the church today, they don't want a cancel from God again. Oh, they don't want cancel from God. Are you saying they are running church with philosophy and? Uh... They are running church with flesh. Hmm. It is not all of them, but few of them. They are fighting for their belly. They don't preach the truth again. He said, if the whole church can come together in the book of First Corinthians chapter 15, where you read so down, he said, when the whole church can gather together and cry to me, I will hear their cry hmm. and I will hear their laugh. Hmm. But a lot of people feel that President Buhari is not a Christian, that is a Muslim. And uh, before the election, you saw how a lot of churches in Nigeria were conversing that people should not even vote for it, that members should not vote for him. Big churches, for that matter, I mean, bishops, men of God that we respect so much. Some of them even predicted that President Buhari would die. Uh, one pastor, uh, Bodunshe in South Africa, with uh, church, big church in South Africa, said that President is going to die before uh, the election, that during the campaign he's going to die, that he should not move near election. So, with this kind of uh, intimidation from Christian leaders to their congregants, to the Christian family, telling them not to vote for a particular candidate and prophesying that Buhari will not come back. Now that Buhari has come back, do you think that the church in Nigeria have problem? Well, the Lord said to me, he said, if the former church are perfect, they will not be for new. Hmm. If the former church are perfect, perfect, they will not need for renewal. They will not be for renewal. They will not be for coming church or the new church that you are seeing. Hmm. Is because of the old church are not perfect again, and that is why the Lord is he preserve some people mm. which that they never bow down to my money. Mm. All these big men of God we call GO, they have they know they have allowed a spirit of my money and they have allowed a spirit of flesh in the church of God. So the spirit of flesh is now controlling them. Is he what controlling them? Mm. If they can obey. And come back to the first calling. If they can obey mm. the Lord Almighty and come back to their first love, mm. their first calling, mm. Jesus will answer them mm. and He will accept them again. Mm. Do, don't you see what is happening all over the world? Mm. All the leaders of the church, they don't want to come back to their first calling. Mm. They know that when they come, all their riches, it will be what? It will be, it will be taken away. It will be taken away from them. They don't want to renew their soul. They don't want to renew their heart. And they don't want to give their life to Christ. Mm. They will be thinking that they are righteous. And God says, I am the God that searches the heart. Searches the heart. Yes, God mm. searches the heart. Mm. But we human beings, we are looking in the eyes. Mm. Ah, my father is the Lord. My father is the Lord. But sir, we, the, we, father we, the, Lord that he, he, the father is the Lord that you are calling the, your father is the Lord. He, it has deviated. Mm. It has yes, deviated for the principle. For the principle of God. Christ. For the commandment of God. But, but, but uh, looking at it, a lot of people in Nigeria, if you look at it, sir, they really refer their men of God. You see, people say, oh, daddy said, uh, daddy Gio said, uh, papa said, uh, you know, so, so, so said. I mean, it's no more the Bible said. But when you go to the book of Matthew 23, okay. Matthew 23, I think, starting from verse 7, 8, 9, he said, don't call anybody your father. He said the only father you have is God. He said don't call anybody your teacher. 
The only teacher you have on earth is Jesus. So it's even direct. You have a sense. Your father is God. Go and read that Matthew 23, hmm. verse 7 to 9 to 10. You will see that. He said, Don't call anybody your father. But you like to say, My father is the Lord. My father is the Lord. My father died. The, the only father we have. Okay, sir. It is God. Jehovah. Jehovah himself. Yes, that we're going to return our message. Our everything we do in this earth, we will go to return and go and give our our account to him. That's so, 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 so. why I, I do tell some people, yes, don't sir. call me father. You can call me servant of God. Servant of God. Yes. Mm. Don't be saying father. Don't call me a teacher. The only teacher that is only teach me myself is Jesus. So you are a servant leader. I am a servant leader. Mm. I am a servant of God. Mm. I am not a father. And you can call another prophet, another geo, so that there, maybe there are some people that some geo they want to go to a fire. I don't want to go to a fire. Mm. Don't call me a father. Don't call me a teacher. Call me a servant of God. Mm. But sir, this, this thing you brought out is very, very, uh, it's very inspiring, really, and it's uh, also very interesting. It's like a new, uh, uh, what can I call it? Uh, a kind of new teaching. I mean, a lot of people are not very familiar with what you just said, especially that Matthew that you quoted. 